In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to frame and prepare for a corner shower niche in a tub surround. And we're going to be going over the methods and the best ways to go about planning your corner niche. Okay, so we're going to be putting a, a recessed niche. And this client wanted one in the, in the corner. So obviously this wasn't an exterior wall, so you could have put a niche anywhere in this wall. It also wasn't load bearing, so it wasn't a big deal to do it back here, but they actually just wanted kind of things kind of hidden in the corner of the tub surround. That is one thing about niches, you know, you, you make a really beautiful niche and then you just junk it up with all your stuff and that's all you see. So having it hidden in the corner really does make a lot of sense and it makes it nice. But we don't have all that much room. Um, you know, like our center of our shower valve is about 14 and three quarter. This is a 30 inch tub. So it's not gonna leave a whole lot of room for a niche, but what I want to do is cut out the, the studs and create a corner niche. And what I prefer is the wall tile on this wall going straight into the, the niche. So we're going to be taking out this two by four as well in order to, to restructure it. But I want to figure out, you know, it, it's always about what tile that you're actually using and determining the height of where this uh, niche is. Now I'm going to be building one that's about 36 inches tall uh, approximately so that you have at least 10 inches of room above in between each compartment um, but really that's one thing you should pay attention to is like what kind of products are you putting in there is is your soap bottle 16 inches if it is then you want to make it a bigger niche uh, but in this scenario doing 10 inch compartments is good enough so what i always recommend on the um <clears throat> any tile especially around the tub, is to go down around the tub. So at least going a couple inches down below so that you can make this corner very nice. If you were just to keep this straight right here, you would have just some, one tiny little sliver of tile that you would be creating out of the piece below this. So I think it is better to bring it halfway down and then just create that whole curvature of the tub so that you have a nice caulk joint to go against. Um, also, if you remember, my tub is slightly off level, um, about a quarter inch, maybe not, maybe a little less than that, 316, so over the entire five foot area. So you want to scribe cut that first tile to meet, meet nice to the tub. So if you went with straight pieces, you'd end up with a 316 inch gap on the one side of the tub, probably on the back side here. So it's better off to um, always cut that first row of tile so that you have the ability the scribe cut that tile and make it go down towards the tub. So what I think I want to do is you have to reference what the height is going to be going to the ceiling. And, uh, and if you have any border, we're going to be doing like a three to four inch border in the shower about three quarters of the way through. So the other thing I'm thinking about is where is my shower rod going to be? My shower rod typically, typically anywhere between 58 and 60 inches to the center of your off of the top deck is typically where you put a shower rod but it really depends on what you're purchasing so we want to keep note of that as far as our layout of the tile goes so let's just say for instance right now we want to make it four inches off the tub that's probably not a bad idea for having at least two inches going down below the tub. So what I would recommend is just taking your tile and just marking it up the wall. Now you're gonna have some grout joints here so it might expand a little bit more, but it's, it's gonna be close enough to get a good reference point of your tile layout. Okay, so then this is about where I'd like to have my my border and like I said we're going to be going three to four inches so we have some variability there so that's going to be nice when you use those mosaics that have a bunch of different um, components in it you can rip that those down off the 12 inch sheets to be three or four inches wide so you have some variability there just so in case you needed additional uh, height so that you can have your tile finish off so We'll make this basically where our border is. Let's just double check where our shower rod will come. And yeah, so 60 inches would be about right in the middle of, 
of that border so that'll work out well and so let's just go above this and this is kind of the important part so yeah we're we're just about even with the ceiling now most of the time when you're when you're penciling this and you're going right against your towel it's actually going to grow in height it'll actually be a little bit higher because we're going to be using 16th inch grout joints so that's good because if if you have a little bit more height then you have a little bit more to cut off so one other thing you want to pay attention to is the height overall just kind of gauge so we got about 72 and 7 eighths or i'm sorry 73 and 7 eighths 74 so just double check all the way around your tub to see how if that ceiling's about the same height that's 74 so 73 and three quarters so this is a little bit higher this is that quarter inch difference so if it's higher not a big deal that's going to mean that means i'm going to be cutting more of the tile off of here so this is going to be my low point so this is the point that i want to pay attention to it am i going to get a sliver or am i going to be cutting a little bit of the tile off so in this instance it looks like i'll probably be cutting about a quarter inch off of that top tile and again you can add another piece of the border if you really needed to get that additional height once you get up here so you have a lot of flexibility with that so the whole point of going over this now is to determine where my niche is so where did i say that was here and here okay so this is this is a grout line right here so let's put our laser accurately on there okay so this is this is the edge of this is a grout joint right here so what i want to pay attention to here is that uh since this full tile is coming down i don't want to sliver up against my bull nose tile so my bull nose is going to be coming down an inch and a half so that would leave me yeah basically a four and a half inch piece below so that's not that's not bad that gives me um a good reference point you, could, you just don't want to have a, a like an l, an l cut where you're just like having a small sliver at the bottom you don't want to anything with this size towel anything less than two inches is going to look like you forced it or that you didn't plan ahead so anything two inches and above i would say no one's really going to notice and it's going to look like you planned it so in this instance we're going to be about four and a half inches so that's going to look great so we'll be just l notching around that bull nose tile and as long as i have a nice you know decent sized piece underneath of my bull nose i'll be happy so this would be basically my finished tile layer for the niche so we're going to have we'll give ourselves some room we, we'll give ourselves a half inch for tile and then we'll give ourselves a half inch for backer board okay so that's one inch and then we want to reduce this down an inch and a half so this will be where we cut our cut marks here for our two by four okay so then i, I wanted this to be 36 inches so that's our cut mark for so we need uh, 36 plus 3 is 39 so this will be another towel joint here simplest thing again is to find where your grout joint is being going to be at the top and then subtract two inches because you're going to have just give yourself a half inch of room for tile half inch backer board and then your two by four so this is our grout joint so we'll go two inches and this will be our cut mark so two inches above my grout joint is going to be my cut joint and then i'll have my inch and a half two by four here and then what this will do is so this is going to be my grout joint so this is going to be my finished edge so we'll have um inch and a half bull nose that's going to come up so we're going to have plenty of room around that niche so you'll have like a four inch l notch piece that will go around the top of that so that's perfectly fine like i said you just want to avoid a sliver above it so that's basically the concept is go to your grout joint go two inches up from that and then that will create your niche now width wise you have you have an excussion plate and typically they're about seven to eight inches circumference so you're going to have basically this whole area for your um escussion plate so you're not going to be able to make this very big and we need to have some framing for this so we're really only going to have about a nine inch shelf within this so it's going to be fairly small 
so but we need to get some framing within this area but the first thing we're going to do is cut these out So in this wall, you want to make sure that whatever you put in here is going to stay even with one another. So you always want to check this flatness as well. And I'm going to make sure that that two by four If you have the ability to slope it in, I would just go ahead and do that when we make the niche because you, when water hits in this niche, you want it to run out. So. So I hope I demonstrated this clearly enough for you to be able to help you with your own project. Now I know that not every situation is gonna be exactly the same. So please leave a comment below with your own questions about this. You can also email me at bathroomremodelingteacher at gmail.com. Be sure to check out the links in the description below. I not only have the helpful tools that will help you do this, but I also have additional videos of finishing this particular tub surround. So give me a like and a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.